Straight View Download 360 is a good substitute for the Google VR Tour Creator that was just deprecated a couple years ago. If you're looking to create VR tours, walking VR tours, this is a good program to use to get photos from Google Maps. It's open source and free and it works for both Windows and Mac. For Mac download, just a couple quick notes about that. Because it's a third party program, technically it will most likely get flagged by the security and privacy settings on Mac. So if you try to download it and can't open it for whatever reason, usually it's just because you need to adjust your privacy settings so it doesn't get flagged by the operating system. So you can locate this program by just going to a Google search and typing in Street View Download 360. And it'll be the first search result that comes up. You can go ahead and download the program to your computer. And once it downloads, it'll look kind of like this. Uh, this is the icon for the program. You can open that up. It's a pretty simple window. There's not a whole lot of settings that you have to put into it. The only thing that I like to set is I always indicate that the resolution is 6656 by 3328. And that's just because I normally use photos for ThingLink and ThingLink requires this type of resolution in order to render VR images. So to download a picture, we're just going to go back to Google Maps. And we're just going to pick a view that we want to download. So I'm going to go to downtown St. Paul, Minnesota. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. There's Raspberry Island. And to grab a photo of that, we'll just click on this little guy and drag him over and anywhere there's a little circle that indicates a photosphere that somebody probably took a picture of um, or the little blue lines that means that we can actually grab a photo from that location so i'm going to just drop him right here here's some views of raspberry island i'm going to go back just this way all right so if we want to grab this photo to use for a VR platform of some kind, we can just copy the address, the URL for the image, and we'll just paste that right into the tool. So that's all we have to do for that part. Um, once you have the, before you download it, you just want to indicate where to save it. So for now, I'm just going to save it to my desktop so I can easily find it. And then I'm going to hit download panorama. There is actually a kind of pro version of this program where you can download multiple pictures at once. That is a paid version, but on the free version you can pretty much only download one panorama at a time. It, the paid version is just a one-time fee, which is pretty nice, uh, but for the most part there isn't really a limitation on how many panoramas you can download. So you can just keep copying, pasting images in here and downloading them and saving them. So it'll give you a little preview about what it looks like. If you don't see a preview, I would recommend just trying to re-download the picture again. I've never really see a, seen a problem with that, but just make sure that you check and that you see a photo pop up here and it'll kind of give you some information if you want the coordinates and some other stuff about it. So now that we have that image, we can use that for a different project. I'm actually gonna just double click on it so it shows that it actually looks like a panorama here. So that is an example of how to download an image from Google Maps using the Street View Download 360 program.